Hello guys, in this video I will show you the process of upgrading your Filament 3 project to Filament 4 based on my personal example and based on upgrade guide and upgrade script at the moment. And I emphasize at the moment because upgrade script may still be changed, be improved and new things come up, but at the time of shooting this video, August 2025, if you want to upgrade your project, which I will do this project is from filament examples just a table of custom styling with holdings and as you can see the dashboard shows version 3.2 and in this particular project example you will see that upgrading filament version is not just about filament it's also about filament plugins laravel version tailwind and more that's why i even called the article published on filament examples which is free by the way and i will link that in the description below i called it 10 steps and 10 not so easy steps upgrade guide and upgrade script will help but there are still manual work to do and some decisions to make whether you even want to upgrade let's dive in and see step by step first thing even before the upgrading the word of warning from dan Heron himself on the official discord he basically said that upgrade script is not tested enough while in beta so don't hurry probably or report anything that you find with upgrade script or upgrade guide if something doesn't work for you the second thing you should do is actually read the upgrade guide which is at the very end of filament docs on the bottom left please read it at least once in full because you may find some details that will not suit your particular project or something unexpected and also i advise to have automated tests at least some automated tests for main filament functions for main resources and pages because otherwise how you would test after the upgrade because upgrade will change fundamental things in the structure of your folders and files and classes and namespaces if you want to test that manually okay but i would personally trust more or in addition to manual testing i would trust automated test of filament and you can ask ai to generate filament and live wire tests at least for some main stuff and also the advice is to use git and commit all the changes before any upgrades so you would then see what changes were made by upgrade script or your manual upgrade operations and you could easily relatively easily roll it back if something goes wrong because chances are that in the middle of upgrading process you would realize that something is incompatible missing or not working so these were words of caution and preparation for the upgrade now if you're ready upgrade guide contains the upgrade script and let's try to run it and i will show you what it does what it doesn't and what to do after you run that script so first don't run all at once let's try one by one filament upgrade is a separate package and let's try to run that composer require so it installs the filament upgrade and its dependencies should be okay and now let's run the actual upgrade script vendor bin and it will check for some things before doing any upgrades let me show you so we run and it checks php version 8.2 at least laravel version and here it detected that my laravel version is too old currently i'm running laravel 11.23 which was the version at the time we released that example on filament examples and the minimum version required is 11.28 in your case laravel version may be older laravel 10 or something i do advise to upgrade to laravel 12 if you want you can do that with laravel shift or manually or following the upgrade guide of laravel this is a separate topic but in my case all i want to do is upgrade laravel 11 to the latest on laravel 11 x branch which for me is just composer update and it should be updated to laravel 11 dot whatever is the latest version which would be compatible with 1128 so let's see what it would upgrade to it upgrades also filament to 3.3 but with laravel or actually there we go laravel framework laravel 1123 to 1145 great now laravel is compatible let's clear again and let's rerun the upgrade script of filament and now it should work with 
Laravel version compatible. So yeah, three checks, PHP check, Laravel check, and also plugin compatibility with V4. Upgrade script will automatically check your filament plugins and whether all of them are compatible. If not, it will flag it here. But in my case, I'm using just one filament plugin, which is filament badgeable column, which is compatible with V4 of filament, but needs upgrade to a different version. We'll get to that in a minute. But basically, upgrade script will check the filament plugins and whether those plugins in their repositories have V4 branch or V4 tag or something like that, compatible with filament 4. And of course, the upgrade script contains the test with all the warnings that I told you just a minute ago. Please commit any changes, please ensure. But if you are ready, we can start the upgrade. You need to provide the folder of where to upgrade the files. In most majority of filament projects is just app folder, so app filament, and then the upgrade script will change the code in that app filament folder to have filament for syntax. So if we provide app and do the upgrade, at this point it will actually break your panel, but this is intended. So now if we just relaunch our page, it will be broken because the code will be v4 style like this but filament itself in composer json is not upgraded yet this is our next step and in here upgrade script will provide you with specific exact terminal commands to run composer require filament version 4 no update this is important and then we'll list all the plugins to be updated like the one that i mentioned a minute ago so filament badgeable column it provided version 3 compatible with filament 4 and you need to run those compose require no update. No update means that if we run those two, it would update only composer JSON file. So if we open composer JSON now, we have filament version 4.0 and the plugin version 3.0, but composer update is not executed yet. So it's still broken on the website. If we refresh, nothing changed here. And after we change all the versions in composer JSON, then we need to run composer update. So we run composer update, which will change the versions. So take the versions from composer JSON and install and upgrade, as you can see, filament to 4.0. If we scroll up, these are the versions, again, including that package plugin for filament badgeable column updated to version 3, and it is successful. The upgrade of versions is successful, but that doesn't guarantee that the syntax of the plugins didn't change. So now if we refresh our page, it doesn't throw any errors, but we have two problems here. The design is out and we will get to the tailwind thing in a minute. And also if you click the menu of holdings, you will still get an error, but that error is related to the plugin now, not to filament. So then you need to go to the documentation and to GitHub of specific plugins and check their upgrade guides or any changes with versions. So this is the thing that we needed to change from two to version three. The upgrade requires changing the namespace. So that's why the error says that badgeable column is not found because it's in different namespace now. So if we open that holding resource now, we need to change filament badgeable column to just badgeable column namespace in two places in this case. And now if we refresh the page, it works kind of again without design, but it shows the table. So the plugin works, filament works, but the design doesn't work yet. In the upgrade guide of filament 4, it requires Tailwind 4. Filament 3 used Tailwind 3, but it's not necessarily that you need to upgrade to Tailwind 4 if you don't use custom themes and if you don't use any blade components or other filament components outside of filament panel. For example, it's possible to use filament forms or filament tables outside of filament in your live wire components. So if you don't do any of that, you may not need to upgrade to Tailwind 4. But in my case here in my project, I do use custom theme. So in the admin panel provider, you can see Vite theme here with resources CSS filament admin theme, which looks like this, but it doesn't work anymore. So what do we need to change here? And this is probably the most tricky part of the upgrade guide and upgrade in general because you need to upgrade Tailwind and also filament theme with Tailwind syntax. So this should be the new syntax. So instead of this, you should have something like this, import and source. So we need to check the Tailwind config 
previously that was in the theme and we need to add all those folders now as part of theme CSS as source. So this would be the new theme CSS now import and source with all the dot dot slash to relative paths of folders and files. And then we need to turn to tailwind upgrade guide outside of filament. So there's upgrade tool and there's also something to upgrade manually like post CSS. So let's run npx tailwind upgrade and see what happens. Before that, let me open package JSON. So I would show you that currently we have tailwind 3.4. And now if we run npx, will it succeed? Okay, and it took a while, like a minute or something, but it installed package, removed package, and seems to be done without errors. And now do we need to run npm install or npm run dev or build? Let's do that and see what happens. Just in case npm install. And I'm a fan of running npm run build even locally and see if it succeeds. Build. Great. No errors. And now if we refresh our page, will it show our design? Yes, it does. Now we are on filament 4 with filament 4 styled button with tailwind 4 and everything ready for us to take on the project with filament 4 and move on with our work. You would think so, but that is not the end of this video. In addition to upgrading the version of filament to filament 4, the syntax, you may also want to change the folder structure. So let's take a look inside of the code. So if we go to our filament resource, what the upgrade script did was change, for example, this to be compatible with filament 4 with the types, then added schema in addition to form that it used to be so we have text column here as well with use on top with the columns here, which used to be inside in line with the full namespace. So it's basically more like a cleanup with new namespaces, but within the same holding resource. And if you create that resource with filament four, with make filament resource, the folder structure would be different. It would not be in one file form or table. It would be separate files. So maybe you want to change the structure as well to be like filament 4. And for that, there's another terminal command inside of upgrade script. If we scroll down, we have filament upgrade directory structure to v4. So let's try to execute that command and see what it shows. First, you should execute it with dry run so it will not actually make the changes. It would just show the plan of changes. So it would rename holding resource to just holdings and move the pages inside of that and also move the main resource inside of that holdings folder. So that would be the folder change. Let's execute that without the dry run. So it would actually execute the changes and let's confirm that we do want to do that. Yes, it's downloading PHP actor as a tool to do that. As I understand, it actually takes a while, something like 10 to 20 seconds for each file, which is quite surprising to me. And yeah, it is finished in roughly two minutes or so. And now let's take a look at the folder structure. My cursor already shows that this file does not exist anymore. So app filament resource resources, holding resource pages is empty. We can delete that actually. And in here we have holdings, pages and holding resource, but that upgrade script doesn't perform any cleanup, for example, like this for non-existing pages, namespace. So we should probably do that manually or use some kind of rector to do that for us. And let's try to refresh the page, whether it still works. Nothing really changed. As you can see, the dashboard now shows filament 402 and it works with a new folder structure. So that folder structure actually means that all the files related to the resource are in the same folder in one folder and not one level above like it used to be in v3. But even that change didn't finish the upgrade to v4 style. So this is where you need to do manual work if you want to. This is optional. So you could create separate form and separate table class like it would be done in v4 if you run make filament resource. So this is for you to do manually. This is described in the official docs in a section called code quality tips using schema and table classes. So separate form with schema and then separate table with table like this and separate info list and then inside of the resource you have something like this. So this is a V4 style of separation of classes. And this is again, not done by upgrade script. This is for you to do if you want to do the full upgrade of the code. 
but you still can use filament 3 structure, folder structure or file structure after upgrade to filament 4. It's similar to how Laravel 11, if you remember or if you upgraded at the time, Laravel 11 skeleton was different from Laravel 10, but after upgrade you still could use Laravel 10 folder and file structure even after the upgrade of Laravel framework itself to Laravel 11. The new skeleton was optional. Similar with Filament 4 new folder and file structure. And the final thing after we're done with all the upgrade, the cleanup is to compose or remove filament upgrade. And yes, it should be in required dev and it's removing filament upgrade with PHP stun and rector. And now let's refresh the page once again. It still works. And this is where we come to the end of this pretty long upgrade guide with 10, as I said, not so easy steps. So what do you think about this upgrade? Will you try it? Or maybe you have tried it already to upgrade your projects to v4. What issues did you have? Maybe ask in the comments below and I can reply to that. In my opinion, my recommendation would be to wait for upgrade from v3 to v4 for at least a few weeks for plugins to get upgraded, for all the issues to be recorded and fixed, and for upgrade guide to be improved, which was already improved even just a few days ago, with automatically detecting the plugin version, so that's new in upgrade guide version 0.1 or something. So yeah, if you're not in a hurry to filament for structure and folder and new features and improvements for performance, it's a safe bet to wait for a few weeks or even months. What do you think? We can discuss in the comments. And this whole example was based on our filament example custom table layout example. And we are now in progress of updating all of those projects to v4 on filamentexamples.com. And I'll probably shoot more videos about upgrading experience, about new features of v4 and new projects we will release. If you want to support our mission, go to filamentexamples.com and access all that example by purchasing premium membership. And subscribe to this channel to not miss any new videos. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.